Today, I will publicly disclose an attack concept that I've been working on since 2018. I call it mirror on the fly attack. In this attack, an attacker can perform enhanced man in the middle attacks by faking an application in real time. This video will include a real life POC alongside the attack mitigation suggestions. The most important part of this attack is being applicable to all 7th layer applications like SSH, FTP, LDAP, RDP, SMB, SMTP and more. But today, I will introduce a proof of concept example that is only based on web application attack vectors. Since the attack is a family member of man in the middle attacks, it requires another attack vector like typo squatting, phishing, DNS spoofing, art poisoning, open redirection, or many similar attacks to get in the middle. When the attacker gets in the middle, the existing target application is being faked real time to circumvent lots of security countermeasures like CAPTCHA, two step verifications, including OTP and SMS, SSL, TLS, HSTS, security pictures, or any other countermeasure that protects the communication against the man in the middle or session hijacking attacks. In SSL strip attacks, as a first step, an attacker finds a way to get in the middle. This is usually performed with ARP spoofing. In the second step, the attacker looks for an HTTP clear text channel to downgrade the connection. In the mirror on the fly attack, as a first step, an attacker has many options to get in the middle, including ARP spoofing or simple phishing attacks. And in the second step, the connection can be easily intercepted, even target website uses HTTPS with HSTS. Mirror on the fly attack can replace the SSS strip attack, but it has wider usage areas than the SSS strip attack because it's a different approach to perform man in the middle attacks. A new concept. Okay, this could seem to you a little bit complex, but the idea is very simple. It's just making a copy of a website or application in real time. And if you wish, you can publish that copy with an SSL certificate to make it less suspicious. Let's jump into the technical details. To perform a mirror on the fly attack, we need to be able to make a two-way interactive copy of an application. In our example, we will copy a website by using Puppeteer, which is a high-level API to control Chromium. So Chromium will take care of real-time copying process and Puppeteer will make it easy for us to interact. When a victim sends a request through attacker server, which is performing mirror on the fly attack, the attacker server copies the original page and returns a copy of it to the victim. And this cycle continues back and forth while the communication is being managed by the attacker. On the left side, we are viewing the victim's browser screen. Victim will make a typo and accidentally visit the mirror on the fly attacking server. On the right side, we are viewing the attacker server's browser interaction screen, which is controlled by Puppeteer. We will see that the real website is being mirrored on the fly. While the mirroring is in progress, all inputs and events are streamed with a real-time visual copy of the website. Since we have all inputs, this means we have all confidential data, including credentials.
The communication is controlled by the attacker server. This also enables an attacker to modify the existing pages to manipulate the victim to perform some unintended actions like money transfer. While the copied visuals tell another story, at the background, an attacker can make a victim to perform an unintended action. When we look at the mitigation options, the possibilities are shaping around the attack's first step, which is getting in the middle. After getting in the middle, there is no known ways to mitigate the mirror on the fly attack. 